Hi angels, thank you so much for stopping by. I love you as always. Mwah. Hi angels, today of course this video has been requested by Christy Akabike. She's a content creator and she's into crafts and sculpture and other designs. Today we are doing my two topmost uh, uh, apps for mobile apps for designing my thumbnails. So the first one as you can see is Canva. Canva is a very nice app and most people use it. I mean, it's very detailed and it's very, very professional. So whether you are basic or you're a pro, you can use Canva. So right now I have so many uh, templates. This is for YouTube thumbnail. So many templates for, for YouTube thumbnails, for YouTube channel ads, for Instagram posts, Facebook posts so many so many templates but what, what we're doing is thumbnails so i've picked one one of the thumbnails and you will have to check the one that is free and the one that is premium so right now we are going to be designing this i've actually changed the image on the thumbnail on the on the template so we are going to use this to design something very simple and yet uh sends the message across so we're going to be adding some text to this particular template. Maybe we're just getting lovely evangel. I mean, you know, very lovely soul. So that is exactly what we're going to be doing right there. We have added the text. So the next thing is to check for colors. Once you get to the color you want, just move the dots about and then you get the particular color you actually want. We're going to redo, uh, touch the the font, the font size. Yes, you can check the font size, the color, and the the font itself. So we're going to adjust the font. And when you're using font, anyone you see crown beside it, know that it's premium. But if there is no crown beside it, it's actually free. So make sure you check out for that so that you don't click on the one that has a premium tag to it because they will ask you to pay. Right now what I'm using is the, the free version. The free, you can do a lot even with the free version. Yes, but if you want to go for the premium, it's pretty much okay because it will give you room to explore the app very well. So right now we want to touch up the background for the fonts. You can see there is yellow. So you can make it a... Uh, you can reduce the opacity and then it will be transparent. But instead of doing that, we're going to change it to probably another color that is more suiting or more catchy. You know, the the, the idea behind your thumbnails to make something that is catchy to the eyes and yet sends out the message you have in mind. That's the essence of the thumbnail. So I've used this color, but I don't think it's so suiting. Okay, let's leave it a blue. Let's see how it goes. Red on a blue. Please, if you know colors very well, you could tell me if it actually goes. I don't really know so much about colors. I just play around with whatever that comes to my head. So now we're going to move the background. You could see, you could move the background. You could flip it over. You could rotate it and do a lot with it. That's one thing that is very good about Canva. Now you also move the font to meet the background. And that is pretty much your, your, your thumbnail. You're done with that. I mean, it's that easy. You, you don't need to, I mean, you don't need to crack your brain to do something that is very simple and yet catchy. This is lovely Evangel and she's actually lovely. So now we are saving, we are saving. Then we are once you once you click on saving on save or import, it will save, and this is what we have. These are the ones I made in the past. That is it. So we are going to see if we can try one more. Let's do one more and know how it goes. When you are checking anyone that has free inside the small box in black on uh, beside, I mean beneath it, I mean on on the lower parts of the right hand side is actually free. If you don't see that free written inside the box, 
it is not free so you have to pay to be able to use that but i told you this is a free version so i have already added an image from my camera roll you can adjust it if you just want to make it all image you go ahead and do that if you want to uh, expand your image you expand it and then add your lettering So right now we are going to be writing you could see the 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 test is in different i mean two different forms so we, we are going to also write in that manner unless you just want to delete an entire element of the test so this is this youtube is fun i mean it's fun just catching my phone and doing other things i'm doing then we will also change the bigger font Oh, having fun is a goal. It's actually a goal. When you're having fun and you're making little money, there is nothing as fun as that. You heard me right. So we might change the fonts. Once you click on it, it's everything will show you. You have to change it. Like I said before, Check for the font that does not have a crown beside it, and that is the one that is free. If it has a crown beside it, angels, it is not free. You, you are meant to pay for it. So we're going to be removing that. I feel is the bread. This template is actually probably for people in the cooking or, or chef so we're going to remove the pizza and the bread by the side so that it doesn't look as if we are this is a cooking uh, thumbnail so you can change the background color to whatever you want it to be you can make it any color you want to change the background to but make sure that the colors will match you can even add image to the background yes but whatever color you want to change it so just be sure it matches and use your dot i mean you scroll around with your dots and check the color that most suits uh, the, the the thumbnail you are making or the idea behind the, the video you want to use the thumbnail for you can use that on the bigger board or you use the the colors on the line to change it they are all the same thing i mean they're going to give you the same effect or the same result you can also click on images if you want to put an image there or you click on camera roll if you want to put uh, 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 your own photo there. So I clicked on images and uh, you have over a million images you can choose from. Also check for the one that has free box inside it. That's the one that is free. If it doesn't have free box, you are going to be paying for such image. So we keep searching till we get the one that suits this you know having fun so you have to use something that will show that you're actually having fun wow that is a nice landscape we are, we are using there i mean the same is very very lovely and you're done with your creation you then click on import and then import if you want to share it just click on share button beside the import button and you're good to go so lovely this is just i mean it's very simple and amazing um design uh, uh, canva is very very simple and so amazing so this is to save to camera roll so lovely the second app we're going to be reviewing is the pix app this app is also as simple as Canva and it also has a free version and a premium version. Depends on what you want to use it for. These are the my old uh, thumbnails I created, the one from Canva and also from this app. So you have a lot of things, collages, you have templates and these templates are for YouTube, for Facebook posts, for Instagram. You have backgrounds, you have free photos you could use, you have color backgrounds, you have plain backgrounds, you have drawings you could use. There are so many things you could do with this particular app. 
and if you want to uh, use any of them you can go ahead and use them so but today because we are going to be making thumbnails so we are going to be using a template for thumbnail and it's for youtube so you have seen square portrait story post cover post as in pictures and then youtube so we're going to be using the templates for youtube So we've clicked on the YouTube templates as you can see from what I have on my screen they don't really have so much uh, templates for YouTube but unlike Canva Canva has so many templates but we're going to be trying out with this particular one this is a cooking template but it doesn't really matter whatever you want to do you can remove uh, whatever you have to remove to make it your own template that is the essence of creating a thumbnail using this pix app and pix app you could do a lot with it as well so we're going to be writing our own text in this particular uh, thumbnail so you have seen the fonts on the lower part of the screen so we're going to be writing our own text i've already written evangel we're still going to use the same format every test of, uh, in, a, in, a, in a different uh, test background or box so right now we have evangel is cool i don't know if she's actually cool i don't know we're trying to move around with the fonts to know the fonts that will best suit our test and also below the screen you have typing you have font you have color you have blend you have stroke you have um opacity you have there is also so many things you could do with this and on the upper part of the screen you have copy next if you want to go to the next uh, design and then back uh, arrow if you want to go back to your last design and here i want to add actually some strokes so you just click on the stroke and then choose the color you want to use for your stroke and also you want to change the font color and also add the stroke to it i mean it makes it look a bit uh, better and whatever you're writing please angels make sure your fonts are bold enough and readable that is the essence of the whole thumbnail make sure your fonts uh your fonts are bold and readable and also use something that people are familiar with yes we know sometimes we, want, we just want to be dramatic with whatever we're doing but write something that people will read so i'm trying to change the picture in the background i have actually used my own photo so you can move these things you're writing i mean you can you can move it to any side of the of the screen so that you have a, a very um, glamorous look on the on the photo you have put in there so lovely this app is also very good you can add your own font and make it whatever you want to make it and you can also use a font that came with the template so right now i have added having font and i'm putting a stroke to it if you, if you see some of my videos you will know that this is exactly the font i like the color and the and the strokes i use for my fonts i mean it makes it to stand out a white uh, font with a black stroke i mean it makes it to stand out yes it's very very okay if you use it so you can do a lot with this particular app you can add more images you can add other photos you can add a pre a pre-written test to your design i mean there are so so many things you could do with it but some of these things are not on this particular free version i mean you need to pay premium before you use it so these are just like stickers you could use to design your to design your your thumbnail so i'm actually using this particular rose flower sticker i mean it looks lovely i don't know but sometimes i feel be keeping it simple is the best way to go about it but if you want to make it a little dramatic or a little catchy you can go ahead and fix whatever you want to fix on it 
so that is it guys it's actually one of my favorite apps this and then canva although canva comes before this so you can also add another image i mean probably you're referring to that image or you have your uh, your own photo and then a photo of an object you want to talk about or a, a screenshot of a video you want to talk about a screenshot of an image you want to talk about so you can actually use this to i mean create your own world in your own little way i mean with the, this thing you can put in borders you can crop you can touch up the face i mean you could do a lot adjustment saturation uh, contrast brightness you can do a lot with this particular app and it also came with a free version and a premium version like i said in the past and uh, you can use the free version very well i mean you can use it to do a lot of things but if you want to go for the premium version is also very advisable so that is it guys i'm done with this creation and this is the end of the two reviews remember i reviewed canva and then pix art i love to keep it simple guys so enjoy it and have fun make sure you subscribe if you have not done so and share if you have not shared before i have my email in my on my about page and also in the description box and i have my patreon account as well thank you and god bless you i love you as always